bass, baritone, tenor. These are the types of male voices that we are family with. However, there is one more. There are in fact four types of male voices, and it is in fact the one of the rarest kind. Allow me to introduce Daniel. He is a man who can sing in the female's contralto range. He is a countertenor. The countertenor, or the contratenor, is a type of classical male singing voice whose vocal range is equivalent to that of female's contralto or mezzo-soprano and even soprano voice types. Simply, it is the highest voice type for men and it is one of the rarest voice types in the world. People are excited about the countertenor voice and people want to continue to hear it. There's something about the countertenor voice that, that, that you don't hear in any other voice type, obviously, but it's, it's youthful, it's innocent, um, and people, people are excited about that. People do have, have that, do have that notion that it is one of the rarest voice types and people do give you a lot of ten attention for it. Although males who can sing in the notes that are challenging even for females, public's direction to countertenors have not been easy. People are just curious. Um, the biggest counter ten uh, obstacle being a countertenor would be the feeling that you need to sing high, um, that you need to continuously sing higher because you can sing higher than other people. And then another, another obstacle would probably be just the way that people see you. In the early 1900s, the countertenor voice experienced a drastic downfall. The public was almost completely forgotten the voice type. The only time the public favored the voice type was during the 1940s, when the Judy Garland introduced the idea of a range contralto, the voice range that is very identical to countertenor. They don't understand what it's like to be, to be a male who is putting himself out there singing the countertenor voice range. Unlike how the 20th century treated the voice type, there was a period when the countertenor was a must requirement for being singers. During 17th to 18th century in Europe, they would castrate young boys before they reached the age of puberty, so that they would keep their high-pitched voices to the adulthood, and the term for those voices or singers are called castrados. As the period favored the countertenor voice type, the men with special voices were hailed as today's rock stars. Here is the movie that sampled the most famous castrado in history, The Great Bonanale. The fact that young boys were castrated to become countertenors unnaturally, it led to many the voice type that at one point, being a countertenors were illegal, which only made public to be distant from the favoring the countertenors voice. However, started from mid 20th century, they were once again getting recognition. From the countertenor Daniel's view, there is a huge future for the countertenors in the music industry. Oh, it's, it's gonna keep growing. Do you, you hear about new countertenors, new young countertenors all the time. For the future of countertenor, I'm just excited to see more composers who are excited to write for those roles. The countertenors are gaining people's praise once more. They are definitely the voice that is worth to follow. <laughs>